Matt Lenehan Boxing Social in association with Forge Irish Stout Empire Fight Store, freebets.com. We're here. Sam Jones, appreciate you joining us. How are we, mate? Good, mate. Just been to the gym, just tried to burn off some uh, some timber. <laughs> um, no, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Happy days, but uh, look, um, a few things to get through. I know we haven't got loads and loads of time, yes. so we'll fire through. Um, first things first, news last night that came out, um, British Boxing Board of Control and UCAD, they've won their appeal um, re- with regards to Conor Ben's suspension slash clear to fight. Um, it sort of leaves us in a position where there's no clear path moving forward about what's actually happening. And this has been dragging on for so long now. I suppose it leaves just everyone with more questions about, well, where do we go from here then? I think everyone's sick to death of it, to be perfectly honest. So that's why I look. I looked at it this morning. I'm, there's not as much traction as what you would think it was getting because I think yeah. people are just like, ugh, like just, just what's going on? Like, are they going to ban him? They're not. Just something needs to be done so everyone can move move forward because it's becoming just it's boring now. It really is. It's boring. Two years on, like plus two years on. It's it it, it listen. From all sides, it's probably not been handled the best. Um, but listen, there needs to be a resolution because, like, I, I'm, it's just, it's just a boring subject now, in my opinion. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I don't, I don't see how something like this takes so long. Surely, it's a case of you either you banning him uh, or whatever, or, or you clearing him to fight. Let's just. I just hope. I just hope that whatever's come out, because I've not read in, I've not even read the the article. To be fair, I just hope there's a. Re- Resolution, very quick resolution, and this is what's happening. This and 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 then we draw a line under it because it's 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 really boring now. Hundred percent. Look, um, before we talk about the fights this weekend, I want to pick up on comments um by Barry McGuigan. This picked up a little bit of traction um on Twitter in the week. Um, he's made a, he's had a quote about Carl Frampton saying, "I didn't take a penny off him for over two years until he won the Commonwealth title. He can say what he wants, but he knows." He would never have achieved anything without me or my family. Um, obviously, these two have had a long sort of back and forth. Um, obviously, a lot came out in Carl's book release. And obviously, before that, when they were going back and forth. But what do you make of them comments? Well, listen, I don't want to get like a lawsuit. So um, <laughs> I think what what's come out and the fact they had to settle in court. So just because you didn't take anything off him at the beginning doesn't really entitle you to take other things or whatever whatever's come out kind of word it carefully um in, in the long run but the bottom line is i commented i never commented on about the any lawsuit i was commenting on the fact that i commented on the fact that to say somebody as talented and as class as carl frampton would never have achieved anything without a manager and a trainer is insane if i'm honest and it's like is a bit it, narcissistic is not the right word. I don't know. I don't know what the correct word is. I just think it's a, I don't know. It's a crazy shout because look, Shane McGuigan and myself are probably like, he, he probably feels as the, exactly the same. We're not going to ever go for a, a beer or, or anything like that. But the facts are, he's a great trainer and I've never said anything other than that. He's a proven world-class, we could even call him an elite level trainer. Right. Yeah. But, he was given an opportunity by Carl Frampton, right, to train someone as good as Carl Frampton. There's a saying I don't know. It's like you can only you can only fuck with the print you've been given. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, 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 and that's and, and he got an elite level guy in Carl Frampton, which for sure he helped Carl Frampton, but Carl Frampton also helped him become a, a credible name in boxing. Do you understand? And that's why I compared it. Before anyone jumps out and goes, oh, Sam, you're a talent. Let's get it. Yeah, no talent, whatever you want to call me. But Joe Joyce gave me an opportunity, which then gave me Savannah, as Savannah and Joe Joyce, which then get me a bit of a name. I'm not comparing, but I'm so I'm forever grateful to to, to Joe Joyce yeah. and Savannah for that. For it. So you can't just say he's never. It's like, look who you've been given me, Josh Taylor. Like me and Josh are probably not the best of friends either, but come that's, on, that's a that's a. Um, and a former undisputed champion, you've been given top level fighters. So to say that he would never have become anything if it wasn't for him and his family is an insane shout. 
it, everyone helps everyone in, but that's the way that's the the way it is. But listen, I've got my 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 deep my deep thoughts about it. But again, I don't want to let her in the post. So yeah, I'm gonna say I think everyone in boxing, you see all the success. Like I'm gonna say, it goes hand in hand, doesn't it? You mentioned there, Joe Joyce yourself. I mean, you were you were inseparable, and obviously where Joe was. You were, and you were fighting the cause, you know, sitting at the, all the press conference, the media, doing the work behind the scenes. And then, you know, you attached to him, him attached to you. That sort of elevated you both, didn't it? Yeah, ab absolutely. But, like, like, make no mistake, I I got my my rise, or whatever you want to call it, before people go go ballistic, through, through Joe. Yeah. But, like I said, I believe I did a great job for Joe. But without him... Would I be where I am now? Probably not. So you, I, I, I thank, I thank my lucky stars. I met Joe. I really do. I really, I really do think that. But to say that somebody wouldn't it would be nothing, nothing without without him and his family is. Well, what a wild, wild shout that is! Like, I mean, look at the fighters he's, that they they work. They've been fortunate enough to to work with. Mm -hmm. Like, like, no one doubts. This is the thing. No one doubts their credibility. Their, their credibility to like bring a fighter through and do things. Because, like, look, they, the, the, with the Josh Taylor, they, 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 they matched him really well. But forget this. People like Josh Taylor and Frampton were good enough to to go through the the obstacles. They were good. That's the reason why they were fast tracked. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. You couldn't do that with an average fighter. Mm -hmm. They've got to be special fighters like a Frampton and like a Josh Taylor. God, Josh will love me saying this. Cancel this out. <laughs> but it's the truth, no? It's the truth. Yeah. It's the truth. Like they, they, Their talent enabled them to be fast-tracked. I know what I'm saying. I just think that to say that about about a fighter is 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 as talented as Carl Frampton is ridiculous. Okay, no. Well, look, um, could I have on about that subject, I suppose, for forever and a day in terms of comparisons? Let's move on. There's a couple of things I want to touch on in this short time period. So... This weekend, um, Wardley Clark, um, I saw the gloves are off. Them two coming together, thought Fabio sort of is quite very cool in his demeanour. Fraser obviously yeah. that pedigree. What do you make of this this weekend, and who do you think's got the edge coming in? I uh, firstly, it's a fantastic card from top to bottom. Brilliant, brilliant card. Um, <coughs> I, I'm, you know, I don't mind about giving my opinion. I am on the fence with it because I will literally wake up and think, eh. Nah, nah. But I can give reasons as to why I think both men could win. Yeah, Fabio go. because he, he's he's more he's in a more experienced professional fighter now than Fraser. He's been like he's he's had some some tear ups now. Fabio, um, Fabio is probably the more confident fighter going into it because of coming off good performances. Um, Fraser's probably been a bit more criticised than than Fabio. And there's a bit more eyeballs on Fraser because of like they want more from him yeah. but this is probably Fraser's coming out fight do you know what I mean like, like this this could be it for Fraser I mean Fraser should win make no mistake Fraser should win on paper in my opinion Fraser should win with who he's been in the ring with Fraser's been in the ring with some world-class opposition I know that he is as an amateur but he's boxing in the world series of boxing which is not professional but it's it's close enough so if Fraser I don't know. Can Fraser do the right? It's, it's such a it's such an intriguing fight, and I'm really prepared. And I, and listen, they're both the the it's a it's just a really good pick and fight. I'm I'm very much looking forward to watch it. Hundred percent. I think um, it has so many variables in it as well, especially. I with... broke that down so terribly. Then, by the way, <laughs> thought that was. I actually thought that was. It was good because you genuinely. I speak to everybody. Nobody really has a clue. Everyone's like, yeah, well, because usually I don't yeah. give a shit about predicting a fight. Like, and I don't care. Like, it, it, listen, if you upset somebody, it, that's just the business we're in. I'm not bothered about that. I genuinely couldn't give you a definitive answer. I, I could tell you how Fraser could win, and I could tell you how Fabio could win. Yeah. Like, like part of me thinks, could Fabio take ambush Fraser early and get him out of there? But could Fraser just outbox Fabio and make him look daft, which is what he should do? Uh, it, great fight. Really looking forward to it. Brilliant, brilliant fight. Last couple. Um, your old mate Joe Joyce returned last week and previous weekend against Cash Ali, got through the fight. Um, I suppose, I suppose from you now, obviously on the outside looking in, you don't work with him, but you're a really good friend. And you mentioned about how you know you two were together and you know what was good for him. Obviously worked for you, gave you a platform. What do you want to see Joe do next? 
What do you want to see him do? I, and I mean this, and I'm not swerving the question. I just want him to be happy. If yeah. Joe, if Joe's mindset is on it, where he wants to train, he wants to wake up, right? He's 38 years old. He wants to wake up because he's done it for a long time now, right? Yeah, and sure. Joe's got that type of style where every spa, it's intense. Every fight, it's intense. And like, if Joe wants to do it, then I'm I'm happy. Just I just want him to be happy and enjoy what he's doing, right? But if he doesn't, then I want him to enjoy the rest of his life because there's more to life than fucking boxing. He's got a degree in fine art. He's, he's, he's much more intelligent and articulate than what people give, ever give him credit for. And there's, there's, there's life after boxing. But if he wants to carry on boxing, he wants to think, do you know what? I had a couple of bad nights against Zhang. Stylistically, probably not the best. Whatever. I could go into great depths and give my, my 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 deep dark opinions about it and what I think went wrong. But ultimately, it's happened. It's done. And if Joe wants to carry on, Joe's a, still a great fighter. He's the toughest man I've ever met in my life. And and I wish him this. It literally like like I love I love the guy to bits. So I just want him to be happy. Um, last one from me. Um, got to touch on it because I know we haven't spoke about it. Um, obviously the postponement of Taylor Capsule, it only comes. Only sort of knocks it back a little bit. Um, bit of a roadblock, I suppose, in preparation for Jack. Just give us your uh, thoughts. Jack, listen, half expected it, really. Um, Why? I don't... You, you just don't know because he pulled out before and then the, 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 the fights... People say, oh, the fight's cursed. But I do genuinely believe that... Look, listen, Josh Taylor's not an idiot. So he knows that... But by pulling out the fight, he's going to get stick. It always comes with stick. That whether you whether you postpone a fight, pull out a fight, you get stick. Josh Taylor gets a lot of stick anyway. So I think that the injury or whatever it is is genuine. So and yeah. it's a four week delay. So we'll see him on the twenty fifth of 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 July. And I, I want him to be fully healthy. So there's no no excuses, and both men can get in the ring and settle their beef. That's what I would like. It's four week delay. It's not ideal because some people have paid hotels, have not got their money back, and that's who I'm bothered about. Right. The people that have spent the hard-earned money on that, because it's a, it really is frustrating when, listen, it's hard out there at the moment. So when people want to spend their hard-earned money and they can't get their money back, it's it's a real kick in the balls. But hopefully May twenty fifth, both men get in the ring healthy and we'll have a great great fight. Hundred uh, percent, Sam. What's the fight you're most looking forward to? Last one. What's the fight you what, most this, this year? Outside, outside of Taylor Cattrall? Because obviously it's. It's, it's a it's a thing for you that what's the fight where you you you're most looking forward to seeing this year whether it be Bibble, it could be a Fury Usyk whoever. Uh, As a fan, what fights that fights that have been made or fights that could be made? We'll go, yeah, we'll go, we'll go potentially then. It opens a few doors for you, that doesn't it? Anywhere, American fighters, whatever you want. No, it is. Right, it is. I'm really looking forward to Usyk Tyson Fury, but I don't think it will be the fight we want it to be. Do you understand what I mean? I don't think it will be the fight we want it to be. But ultimately, I'm probably looking forward to that the most because it's undisputed and there's the the stakes that are on it. And I want the winner. So I want Tyson Fury to win so badly because I want the winner to. I want him to fight uh, Anthony Joshua because I'm selfish. <laughs> so I, I want to see that fight. So probably, probably you got to say the undisputed fight. No worries, Sam. All right. Um, look, appreciate you catching up. Um, as always, giving us your time. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at another fight week. And yeah, let's catch up soon. Nice one, Matt. Speak to you soon, mate. Appreciate it.